This is the You Can Learn Chinese podcast. For everyone who's trying to learn Chinese or reaching for the next level, you came to the right place. Welcome to our introductory podcast. I'm Jared Turner, the co-founder of the Mandarin Companion Graded Reader Series. I started learning Chinese when I was 30 years old after moving with my family to China. I self-studied Chinese. I didn't actually attend any classes, but I spent a lot of time researching and working with different academics who specialized in learning a foreign language. I've since started a couple businesses in China, and I put my kids through local Chinese schools. Now, John and I partnered up in 2012 to start Mandarin Companion because we saw the impact that reading can have on people who are learning a new language. Hey, I'm John Pasden, co-founder of the Mandarin Companion Graded Reader Series. I started learning Chinese way back in 1998, and then I later moved to China in 2000, and I ended up doing my master's degree in applied linguistics、uh, in Shanghai in Chinese. I was the academic director of Chinese Pod for over seven years, and I started my own company, All Set Learning. In 2010, that's the home of the Chinese Grammar Wiki, which is a good place to learn Chinese grammar online. And I also have my own personal website called Sino Splice, which has been going on for about 15 years. It's the longest-running blog about learning Chinese. I also have two kids, and they're in local schools here in Shanghai. Now, John and I have lived in China for a long time.、Uh, I'm pushing on nine years. You, 18 plus. 18 plus. So we're collectively almost 30 years here in China. Now, during our time, we've met so many people who are learning Chinese. Everybody seems to have a different story. Yeah, so that's the really important thing. There's no one size fits all solution to learning Chinese. It really depends on your situation, your goals, what type of learner you are. Now, we come across people all the time who are asking us, "What is the best way to learn Chinese?" And that's actually what I do at All Set Learning. It's a consultancy, and every day I'm meeting people, talking about the challenges they face, the ways they like to learn. Although Jared's the one that's going to be talking to all kinds of people as interviews on the show. Now, let me tell you what this podcast is. On this podcast, we're going to be talking about some of the best ways to learn Chinese, and we're going to bring in research and share best practices for learning Chinese in this day and age. We'll also be identifying different trends that are happening in Chinese education, both good and bad. We might have some funny or interesting examples of bad Chinese and movies and popular media memes and so on. And along with that, heck, even bad Chinese tattoos—that's a never-ending topic of amusement. So I mentioned before we're going to have interviews with people who have learned Chinese. What kind of people are these? You know, we're going to have business people, students, teachers. We even have some diplomats and just normal, everyday people, just like you. And we also are on a quest to see if we can get Mark Zuckerberg and John Cena on here. And I'd add、uh, Dwayne Johnson too. Dwayne Johnson does he speak Chinese? He did in that movie Skyscraper, so I assume he's learned at least a little bit. All right, let's get Dwayne Johnson on here. But we're here to let you know that you are not alone in your journey of learning Chinese. And we want you to know that no matter what kind of learner and what kind of person you are, you can do this.、Uh, anyone can learn Chinese, no matter what your goal is. Now, what this podcast is not. This podcast is not to teach you Chinese, right? We're not going to be your teacher. This is not a class. It's not a study program, and it's definitely not a virtual phrase book. It's also not a way for us to grandstand and show you how awesome our Chinese is, unless you're John Pazin because he has like awesome Chinese. No, no, I'm not going to do that. But、that's, you do. That's not why we're here. Okay, good, fine. But since we're actually learners, no matter how much experience we have in the industry, we share that learner perspective. And we know that it can be really hard to learn Chinese. There are definitely challenges there, and we also know that Chinese Chinese teachers they don't understand every little aspect of learning Chinese. They may be the experts on the language, but they are often not the experts on what it feels like to be frustrated learning Chinese. So we know what it's like. We know how hard it can be. We're here to be your guides, and we're bringing some other people along too. All right, so catch us next time. Subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us at mandarincompanion.com to find more information about the show, and you can also find us on Facebook. Just search for "You Can Learn Chinese." All right, see ya, 再见。